Hi everyone, welcome to Craft and Crochet. In this video, I gonna share with you how to crochet this beautiful pretty blanket. This gorgeous blanket I made with a waist stitch and a pink color rose bud. You can choose any color for this rose bud. This blanket is super easy, even beginners can make too. I have to say thank you very much for my all the subscribers and your lovely comment for my previous video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. If you miss my previous video, please click on my channel name Craft and Crochet. Under this video icon, you can get my all previous video here. With all videos are subtitled too. Okay, let's get start. Okay, for this blanket, I'm using white color yarn. This yarn is double knitting yarn and 100 gram, 300 meters. And recommend hook is number four. I'm gonna use four millimeter crochet hook for this blanket. And for this blanket, I'm using 400 gram yarn and mean four yarn ball. For border, I'm using this pink color and a green color yarn. This two color enough 25 gram to 40 gram. And this all I'm going to use for this blanket. First I'm going to use this white color yarn. This two color I'm going to use later. First I'm using this white color yarn. This blanket have a V stitch. This blanket have a 70 V stitch. This size is 70 V stitch. I'm using 4 millimeter crochet hook and this stitch counter. In my previous video, I'll show how to use this stitch counter. And if you don't have this one, you can use like a stitch mark or different color yarn. To begin, slip knot. I'm gonna make chain 140. Three. Ten chain. I'm gonna mark here one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have a twenty. This mark here two. I'm gonna use, show you how to use the different color yarn. Now I have a hundred chain. I'm gonna put this yarn back side to hook like this. Then I start again, chain two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like this. Now I have 110. All together I need 140 chain. Now I have 140 chain. This is the 140 chain. Let's see how long this one. This blanket size is coming 110. I'm 
is 110 centimeter. This blanket is coming more bigger. I'm using this much border. Then it's coming nearly 120 centimeter. This chain come in 110 centimeter. I'm going to remove this. This going two plus two. I'm going to add two more chain. One, two. Now all together I have 142. Skip three chain into the fourth chain. I'm going to make one double crochet. This is the first V stitch. Skip one chain into the next chain, two double crochet, one double crochet, and two double crochet into the same space. That's the second V stitch. Skip one chain into the next chain, again, two double crochet. This is the Third piece stitch, one double crochet, two double crochet. Skip one chain into the next chain again, two double crochet. This pattern is going skip one chain into the next chain, two double crochet. I'm using this chain back side. This you can see this chain backside have a little rip like this. I'm using all the time this rip. Skip one chain into the next chain to double crochet. This is the pattern for this row. I'm gonna show you end of this first row. Keep going two double crochet together, skip one chain, two double crochet. Now I'm nearly finished first round. Skip one chain into the next chain, two double crochet. Now I finish this all the way to the 140 chain. It's look like this. You can see this V stitch. I have to make couple of V stitch more. Skip one into the next chain. Two V stitch. One, two. Sorry, two double crochet. Skip one into the next chain, two double crochet, one, two. You can see I have a one chain and this slip knot I'm going to use for the last chain. If you get extra chain you can remove in the back side like this this is the last V stitch two double crochet this first round I have a 70 V stitches Here I have a 70 V stitches. I'm going to make second round now. They start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. 
turn other side into this first V stitch you can see this V stitch into this first V stitch middle I'm going to make one double crochet this is the second round first V stitch next V stitch come in middle of this V stitch two double crochet into this space one double crochet two double crochet this is the second V stitch next one is going inside to this V stitch middle I'm going to show you again inside this V stitch one double crochet again into the same space one double crochet this round is going into this each V stitch to one V stitch it's become like this each V stitch to come in one V stitch then is you can see this V stitch top is open when you make the two double crochet for one space make all the way to the end of this row each V stitch to two double crochet this the last V stitch this V stitch to come in two double crochet I'm gonna show you end of this round next round is coming this V stitch to again two double crochet this the pattern for this blanket it's super easy and really fast I'm gonna show you this blanket this the always stitch you can see this always stitch top is open when you make the two double crochet for the top you can see this always stitch to come in one V stitch each V stitch this all row have a 70 V stitch and I'm going to make 69 round for this blanket. I'm going to show you end of this second round. How to turn to other side. Now I'm finished this second round. I'm going to make. Two V stitch to this one V stitch and into this last V stitch two I'm gonna make two double crochet. It's the last V stitch. Now I finished the second round. Round third round is start with the chain three, turn other side into this. First V stitch, one double crochet. This is the third round first V stitch. Next one is coming into the next V stitch middle like this. Two double crochet. This is the pattern for this blanket. This each row have a 70 V stitch. We not increase any V stitches. We start with the 70 V stitch and when you finish the V stitch you have to finish with the 70 V stitch. This is the my all 
we stitch I have a 69 row you can see here I start this side I gonna finish this blanket same side then it's coming 69 round and 70 V stitch I'm gonna finish this blanket now one more double crochet into the next V stitch again one V stitch one double crochet and two double crochet into this last V stitch two double crochet again now I finished this blanket I'm gonna make the border for this blanket you can see I finished this blanket with the start side this end and start coming both same side chain one now I'm gonna make this side into this we stitch one double crochet side I'm gonna make two single crochet one two into the next double crochet to two single crochet this first round is going this side you can see this one double crochet each row have a one double crochet for this side into this each double crochet to two double sorry two single crochet one two single one two it's look like this all the way to the down like here I'm gonna show you end of this side how to make the corner this each double crochet to two single crochet you can see this double crochet into this double crochet two single crochet now I finished all the way to the down two single crochet two single crochet this is the last V stitch this double crochet to I gonna make three single crochet one two three this the corner one two three and chain one and this side to I gonna make again single crochet three single crochet one two three three single crochet you can see this corner is turned to the other side now this the chain we start this bottom you can see they have a one chain and one V stitch each chain to I gonna make two single crochet and skip this V stitch and next chain to again two single crochet it should look like this this E chain to two single crochet end of this side this corner uh, not this corner this this the second corner it's coming same like three double crochet sorry three single crochet and one chain and three single crochet same like this corner now i finish all the way to down this side now i'm gonna make this second corner this the second corner two double sorry two single this the last you can see this the last 
twist it one two three single and chain one and again three single one two three this is the second corner we make three single and one chain and three single for this corner we stitch again two single to each double crochet same like this side this is the one first corner this is the second corner and this is the third corner again three single and one chain and three single and go all the way around to this round now I finish this all around to this blanket single crochet this side is going one single crochet inside to this we stitch one single crochet one single crochet and inside the we stitch one single crochet that's how is going third sorry fourth side top of this blanket this the last v stitch i'm gonna make single crochet for this v stitch one two and three three single you can see we start with the chain one go through the chain one and slip stitch next round is going chain one this each single crochet to i gonna make single crochet it's look like this i gonna make around to this blanket three time single crochet this each corner coming this chain is space this chain is space to one single and chain one and again one single I'm gonna show you in here single each space to single crochet This chain one is space two. I'm gonna make one single crochet, chain one, and again one single crochet. Again, each single crochet to single crochet. That's how we turn this corner. Each chain two chain one chain single crochet and chain one single crochet all the time is corner turn with the chain one i have to make three round around to this blanket now i'm finished three single crochet for this around to this blanket you can see one two three three single crochet round i'm gonna finish this third single crochet round this the corner chain one space into this chain one space one single crochet chain one and one single crochet I join with the chain one with the slip stitch it looks like this after this three single crochet round now I'm gonna use this 
green color for this border before I add this green color yarn I show you how it look like this border then you can get idea you can see this green color and a pink color I drag in this under this white color yarn I'm gonna join this green color yarn next to this loop this single crochet I'm using little knot to join this yarn I tied this yarn in here next I hold in this green color yarn like this side and I start one more time single crochet around this blanket chain one into same space one single crochet with this white color yarn into the next space again one single crochet you can see this green color yarn under this single crochet I drag in this green color yarn to the 10 single crochet after I'm gonna use this green color yarn now I have a four single crochet five single crochet six seven single crochet eight single crochet nine single crochet and ten single crochet it's look like this now I'm gonna pull this green color yarn Now I'm going to chain this color. Next, I'm going to make one single crochet. Now I chain this green color yarn and start again single crochet. It looks like this. I tied this white color yarn. Now I'm going to make three stitches to this, this side one here and a down one here and next one into this side I'm gonna show you this into this three space and pull this yarn to this loop to top and again one more time to down and make one more loop now I have a four loop on a hook one two three four again one more time for this side now I have a six loop on a hook four five six and go through this all loops and make one stitch like this now I'm gonna chain the color now I take the white color yarn and go through this loop and tie this green color I use this green color to tie it and into this next single crochet I'm gonna make single crochet with this white color yarn you can see this three line again I'm gonna make 10 single crochet one two three four five six 
सेवन एट नाइन टेन यू कैन सी दिस आई ड्रैक दिस ग्रीन कलर यान अंडर दिस सिंगल क्रोशाइट नेक्स्ट आई गोन चेंज कलर इन टू दिस सिंगल क्रोशाइट नेक्स्ट दिस टाइम आई पुल दिस ग्रीन कलर यान एंड सिंगल क्रोशाइट again into this three space this two three i'm going to make three stitches pull the yarn and two loops on the hook and to the down one more loops and into the this side this all loops need to same high and go through all loops and make one stitch and chain the color i take white color yarn go through this loop and tie it with this green color yarn into this next single crochet again single crochet this each single crochet to again single crochet make sure you have to drag this green color yarn under this single crochet it's look like this i'm going to make each single crochet sorry each 10 single crochet after this flower next i'm going to show you how to make this corner this corner i'm going to show you one more time here this space have a 10 single crochet single crochet i'll change the color and this three space to i'm going to make three stitches like a triangle shape and a bottom to do, to this down one two three four and into this space again one Now I have a six loop on a hook. Go through this all loops and make one stitch. Then I'm gonna change the color. I'm using now white color yarn and tie this green color. Again, start single crochet to each single crochet. when you do this three four stitches then you can make super easy this if you are beginner this only couple of flower space you can make slowly after that you can make faster this corner i'm going to make now this the chain is space you can see this chain is space i chain the color now i pull this green color and make one single crochet and tie it with this white one this time i'm going to make three space for this this three one loops into this space now i have a four loops on a hook into this space 
six loops on a hook, go through these all loops. all loops and make one stitch it's like this I'm going to show you one more time this is the corner I'm using this three space this two side and down one and this two and into this space two. Now have a six loop on a hook and go through this all loop and make one stitch. Change this color. Now I'm using again white color yarn to make a single crochet around to this blanket. 10 single crochet after I'm using again green color yarn. It look like this. I'm gonna make around to this blanket 10 single crochet after this flower. I'm going to show you one more time. Green color, single crochet. I'm going to choose this three space, one loop, and to this space, two loops, and to this space, three loops. Six loop on a hook, go through all loops and change the color. Now I'm finished around to this blanket. Make sure you have to drag this, pull this yarn, otherwise it's coming little bubble. This is the last corner. I'm gonna chain color into this chain space. I take now green color and single crochet and into this three space I'm gonna make a loop like this one more loop three loops and all together six loop on a hook go through all loops and change the color and single crochet with the white yarn now I finish this green color for around to this blanket it's look like this you can see this have a every single 10 single crochet after this I'm gonna cut this green color yarn now now I'm gonna join pink color yarn for this blanket same like before next to the, this loop go through this next single crochet and join this pink color yarn with the knot like this and same like before drag this green uh, sorry pink color yarn 
under this single crochet white white color yarn into same space one single crochet again each single crochet to single crochet with the white color yarn same like before like dragging this pink color yarn under this single crochet this time we don't want to count the single crochet we're going to make the flower top of this green color space each single crochet to single crochet this single crochet green color single crochet to single crochet and after this single crochet I'm gonna chain the color now now I pull it this pink color yarn and one single crochet chain one into the same space one double crochet on the last loop on a hook like this one double crochet last loop on a hook again one double crochet last loop on a hook one double crochet last loop on a hook now i have a four loops on a hook double crochet last loop on a hook five loops on a hook go through this all loops and make together now i'm going to chain this color go through this loop and pull this white color yarn and tie this with the pink color yarn now we are going to tie this white color yarn into this next single crochet i going to make single crochet this is the first rose bud it look like this again drag in this pink color yarn under this single crochet i'm going to show you one more flower each single crochet to single crochet make sure you have to make the green color single crochet to one single crochet as well otherwise it's come in little space this green color space this single crochet one single crochet into this single crochet i'm gonna change the color pink color single crochet and chain one into same space five times uh, double crochets last loop on a hook one two three four five five loops on a hook go through this all loop and one loops on a hook now now i'm going to chain this white color yarn and make sure you have to tie this white color yarn pull this white color yarn then is coming smaller this cross bud after that each single crochet to single crochet it's look like this you have to make each this green spot to one flower but like this space and now 
now we are going to show you how to make this corner to this flower but it's like this each single crochet to single crochet with the white color yarn and into this space I'm going to change the color with a single crochet single crochet chain one five double crochet last loop on a hook one two three Double crochet, last loop on a hook, five loops on a hook, and go through these all loops and chain the color. I'm gonna use white color and tie this white color yarn into the next single crochet. I'm gonna make single crochet, same like before, like this. It's become like this. I'm gonna make this all around to this blanket rosebud with the pink color yarn. Now I finished the all flower for this blanket. Now I'm gonna make the last one on this corner. into this single crochet single crochet in this space I'm gonna chain the color I hold it this pink color yarn and chain one five double crochet last loop on a hook one two three four double crochet last loop on a hook five all together and chain the color and pull this white color yarn and into this flower single crochet now I finish this around to this blanket all flowers this chain one space to one use the slip stitch join with this yarn now I can cut this pink color yarn next I am gonna make single crochet three time again around to this blanket chain one into this each single crochet to I'm gonna make single crochet I'm gonna show you how to go in this top of this flower single crochet each single crochet two into this each single crochet two You can see this next to this flower, this space. I'm gonna make one single crochet. Next one is going this single crochet. This two single crochet. Make sure you have to make this two single crochet to single crochet, otherwise, it's coming a little space. I'm going to show you one more time. It's look like this. This blanket flower you can use both sides. I'm going to make two more round for this blanket. I'm going to show you one more time how to go in the single crochet top of this flower. Next to this 
you can see this next to this this space one single crochet into this space next one is coming this side this space one single crochet it's look like this I'm gonna make two more round to this blanket single crochet now I'm finished three round single crochet it's look like this you can see this blanket border we can use both sides this cone is going each chain to single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Into this chain one, slip stitch and join this, finish this round. You can push this flower for this, like this, then you can use both sides. I'm gonna cut this yarn now. I'm finished this blanket now. I'm gonna tie this yarn. End of this video, I'm gonna show you this blanket size. I'm using this tool together and use the knot to tie this yarn like this. Next I'm using yarn needle to hide this pink and green color yarn. Now I can cut this pink color yarn, same like this green color yarn, use the yarn needle to hide this yarn. I hope you will love this video. Next, I'm gonna hide this yarn. Now I finished this blanket. This blanket you can use both sides. This both sides is look same. And this blanket is really good size for the baby coat. I hope you will love this blanket. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. End of this video, I'm gonna show you this full blanket. See you again with another video.